Some people think that we will be able to do that in a more significant way in the future. And I know of biological scientists who would predict that the first person to live to be 100 is alive now and is about 60 years old. Most of us don't subscribe to that view. Uh, but that would suggest that you can overcome the challenges of physical aging um, and bypass them or correct them. But we don't have that capability yet. Um, what we do have is many, many more people living much, much longer. So the expectation of life in uh, the developed world has been increasing for three months a year for the last 150 years. Um, now, this is an average, of course. Um, now, is that a challenge to ageing? No, it's actually dealing with premature death. Uh, so far, no human beings have lived beyond 120. In fact, as far as we know, nobody has yet lived that old. There have always been some people who lived to be old, and the averages uh, are brought down by the people who die much earlier. Um, now, uh, the expectation of life is uh, in the upper 70s, and that's an average. Uh, the number of centenarians is far greater than ever in human history. So, in a sense, we are delaying aging, but we're not reversing it. What we can do, however, is to make later life more interesting so that people live more in the life that they've got. And that's something that we as a society need to do a lot more of. Uh, and we are living with images of retirement that are utterly out of date, where people get to a certain age, uh, they are given their pension, and the presumption is that they are then old. But actually, the majority of people who retire from their occupations and take a pension, if they've got one, uh, will live for another 20 to 30 years. So we have got a lot of rethinking to do about the period that we call retirement. And we can put life back into those years and make it more engaging, more socially meaningful and psychologically more pleasurable. That's not reversing aging. It is really just bringing back the life that's still there and giving it purpose.